What up, what up, YouTubers? This your boy Sean Agnew coming at you with my first video. Sorry that it took so long. Uh, just had to get some a few things um, together so I can give y'all a proper uh, video. But enough with all that. Let's jump right into it. I said, what better way to start my first video than with Nasty, Nasty R. Kelly? R. Kelly has been in the news for about two two weeks now. This guy has been all over the place in the news and social media everywhere. Um, they recently made a show, Surviving R. Kelly. Um, and the show is very, I, I would say, in my opinion, very, very sickening. At what he have done, and very sad at the women that he affected by his actions. Um, it it's just it's really sad, man. This 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 man has been doing very 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 nasty things for some years now. I mean. Anybody that is older know that this is nothing new to some of us. I'm 25. I've been knowing that he was a nasty person for for years now. This is nothing new to some some people. Um, it's just now that we're in a different era now. And back in the days, the the the, the early 90s, the early 2000s. Um, those things that are, that was considered, looked at a blind eye, like sexual assault, sexual harassment, all that stuff that is, was looked in a blind eye back in those days, they're, those days are over. They, they're not doing that in 2019. None of that stuff is flying in 2019. Back in the day, people knew R. Kelly was nasty. Everybody knew. The world knew. Um, people in the industry knew. But what did we do? All of us. What did all of us do? We all guilty. We looked at it with a blind eye. We could have been got him out of here a long time ago. But everybody was... Everybody just couldn't separate the man and the music. He gave us songs like, I Believe I Can Fly, Step in the Name of Love, I Wish. And it was hard for some people, just like the Bill Cosby incident. They couldn't s separate the real guy, the man, from the character. And it's, it's no different than this. Not giving not giving this man any excuse. Um, it don't matter how good his music is. Or how impactful his music is. It doesn't matter what he, what he has done in his past. And a few years ago. It's unacceptable. You know, this man had a sex cult. <laughs> Let that sink in. This man had a sex cult. Women. He gathered women and bought a house. And, and basically used these women as his own personal, basically, sex toys. You know? Human people. And it, it's just sad, man. Like, this guy should have been out of here. Been out of here a long time ago. I've seen some of the survival R. Kelly shows. I I just seen one I remember one one girl, she said she was fourteen if I'm not mistaken, and she said when she was literally she was a virgin and R. Kelly took her virginity. And the woman said that he would force her for, he would force her to call him daddy. And whenever she's get out of line or or she would say that like like a, a example like he 
like he said he would like the Lakers or something and she would like another team and he would get mad at that. He would say, no, you like the Lakers. If I like the Lakers, you like the Lakers. And she talked back to him one day and she said, no, I, I like such and such team. And he smacked her and told her, like, if I say you like the Lakers, you like the Lakers. Like it, 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 it was like sick brainwashing stuff like that. And he would also starve this 14-year-old girl that he that he was sleeping with. She said he starved her for three days. And she, you know, basically was, you know, in order to survive them three days, she would have to drink water and peanuts, you know, because she disobeyed him. <laughs> this This guy got issues man this guy is a sick individual that should have been out of here a long long time ago um if this man goes to jail tomorrow he will not get no sympathy from me at all he is a a, a predator that should be in jail um i hope they do um Put that man in jail and get justice for these women that was hurt. Not just mentally, but physically and emotionally. I believe they deserve that. These women deserve to have justice. And I, I do think they will. Um, if they keep pressuring, you know, basically, you know, basically, if the world keeps talking about this. And the masses keep talking about this. There, it, it's gonna come a, you know, it's gonna come pressure for them to do something. The state, state government, whoever, police force, whoever, FBI, CIA, whoever it is, somebody's gonna have to do something, you know, because a lot of people want this man out of here, and I can't blame him, you know. He is a sick individual that that needs to be in jail I have no sympathy for him um, I don't care what his what his music has done for a lot of people or inspire a lot of people I know a lot of people you know played his music at the cookouts and at their weddings so they have some type of connection with it but that doesn't that that doesn't matter you know this man is a sick individual but yeah man uh, let me know how y'all feel in the, um, below the comments. Um, let me know if we should get this man up out of here. Let me know how y'all feel about this individual. Uh, but make sure you hit that like and prescribe button. And hit that notification button if you want some more of my videos. Alright y'all. I appreciate y'all tuning in. And I have more for you later. Bye.